guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome on into my beauty stash. I have a Catrice Cosmetics haul to share with you guys today. I ordered this stuff over, I think it was over New Year's break and it's just now arriving. Um, I did a little unboxing a reel over on Instagram. So if you wanna go check that out to see every individual product that I got. But in here, I have a couple primers. I have a setting powder. I have two eyeshadow palette so we'll be creating two looks today i have an eyeliner i have a new skin tint the a launched a new skin tint i don't know how recent it is but it was in the new category i have a cream bronzer a uh, powder contour and highlighter i have a liquid highlighter lipstick mascara lip oil you name it the list goes on and on i also repurchased a new a catrice true skin hydrating foundation this is one of my holy grail foundations i just needed a new one the shade i got in this one is shade o2 neutral ivory so i definitely have a review over this one and i think i have a catrice cosmetics playlist so i'll have that linked in the description box that way you can go back and see some of the other catrice cosmetics products that i have hauled over the years if it is your first time here on my channel i just want to say hello and welcome to all of you my name is steph and i love trying out new makeup i am <clears throat> I am primarily a new makeup review channel, but I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup ranking videos. I love drugstore makeup, affordable makeup. I don't think anything in this box was over $12. So if that sounds great to you, I want to invite you to become part of this makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. That way you'll be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a fan of Catrice, I'm so excited for this one. Please give this video a big thumbs up before you go. As usual, I'll have everything linked and listed in the description box. Some of those links might be affiliate links. If you do end up shopping through them, I thank you so, so much for supporting me and my channel. Let's get this haul started, guys. I'm gonna get ready. We'll get ready together as we head on out to work. Um, let's see how all of this new Catrice Cosmetics goodies are going to perform. If you wanna see them in action, keep on watching. All right, so I have two different primers. I have the uh, per Perfector Poreless Blur Primer. This is the only item that I picked up from Amazon. Um, and then I also picked up this one that I think I'm gonna use today. This is the Smoother Plumping Primer Concentrate. And all of these products are gonna be uh, vegan and cruelty-free. And again, most of them are $12 or less. I see a lot of dupes for some of your high-end favorites. So we're gonna go in with this one right here. My favorite primer from Catrice was the One Minute Skin Perfector. And I think, unfortunately, that one has been discontinued. I'm gonna warm this up in my hands because it does feel really cool. It's a cold morning right now, but we're supposed to be in for a nice day in the 70s. But um, I loved that One Minute Face Perfector and I'm, ugh, it pains me that it's no longer available. Don't notice the scent with this one. I do feel like it's very smoothing. It's going on well on top of my, my skincare. Just feels good, feels good. Okay, so these were the two foundations that I'm gonna try out. This one is new, this one is not. It's been around for a couple years, but this is a holy grail and I do have a review over this one. I just wanna swatch them out next together though, really quick. We are gonna use the skin tint today since I'm gonna do a wear test in today's video. So let me just open it up. The shade I have in the skin tint is called the Tinted Serum Foundation. It does have hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. And the shade I have is shade, they're both gonna be shade O2 uh, neutral. You do have this little dropper style there. So there's shade O2 neutral. I do wanna point out that the foundation does come with a pump, the True Skin Foundation. All right, so here are the, both of them. This is the skin tint. And this is the True Skin Foundation, or Skin Tint Serum Foundation, and then the True Skin Hydrating Foundation over here. This hydrating foundation is just spectacular, but you guys, I've already ranted and raved about it all of, I think it was 2022. So yeah, 
it's definitely a good one. That's why we're not going to use it in today's video because it's already been uh, tested and it's a goodie. This is the one we're going to use today. Now I'm just going to drop on the back of my hand. I don't like doing the dropper like on my face and stuff. And so I have this much there. I'm going to use my BK Beauty. This is the A101 because this is the travel size version of the brush. Now I want to say this is definitely going to be light medium coverage. With the other foundation, you can definitely good, uh, get a good medium coverage, even bordering on full coverage with that one. Catrice also makes another one of my holy grail foundations, and it is the HD Liquid uh, Skin Foundation. I believe that's what it's called. It is a full coverage foundation that lasts all day. And for those of you who's your first time watching me, hello. I am Steph, my name is Steph, and I am 41 years old with normal to oily skin, oily primarily in my T-zone. Okay, so this is feeling really, really hydrating. I can tell this is definitely going to be a product that I'm going to need to powder down. I don't know when this came out. I'm not too sure how new it is, but... Um, that's why I wasn't sure, should I do a two-day wear test with it like I normally do, but I feel like maybe this has been out for a minute, and so, yeah, usually when a foundation has been out already for a while, I'm not, I'll just use it like in a get ready with me video, I won't do a dedicated video over it. All right, now I'm going to take my sponge, and I'm just going to take whatever was left on the back, and just start pressing all over, making sure everything is as seamless as as possible. I also do not notice a scent with this foundation so I think it's a pretty clean product by way of how they formulate it. All right now I'm going to remove some of the foundation I got on my lips because we have two different lip products and I want to be able to try them both. I'm going to go in with the lip oil. They had a several different shades in this one. This is the Catrice Gloss and Glow Tinted Lip Oil. The shade I have in this one is shade 30 Glow for the Show. Nice doe foot. Mm. Doesn't, let's see, I'm trying to see, does it taste like orange or smell like orange? Maybe it has a little taste to it. Yeah, no scent. Maybe a small taste. Mm. It's hard to be sure. Ooh, but that feels good. That's one thing I'm sure about. Now we're going to go in with a concealer that I already had in my stash, and it's the True Skin um, High Cover Concealer. This one I have is in the shade uh, 05 Warm Macadamia. Oh, this might be a little too dark. But we'll make it work. I always just drag it down a little bit right here to the sides. I'm going to use my BK Beauty A506 to apply. I do have a review up on this concealer in case you're interested. Everything should be in my Catrice playlist that is in a pinned comment. Okay, I think that is looking pretty good. I don't know, maybe a little makeup y into here. Hmm, maybe it'll, it just needs a minute. <laughs> like that CoverGirl one, needed a minute to just settle in. But yeah, I don't know, something about that. I'm not really liking that, but everywhere else seems to be looking really nice. So we do have a couple of cream products. Like we have a cream blush. We have a cream bronzer, um, so we're going to have to go in with those first. Yeah, cream bronzer. So, oh, and that one is a bronzer. I thought that was a contour over there. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this cream bronzer. The shade I have in this one is 30 Pretty Tanned, and they did have a few shades available. I'm going to use the Singe FO3 brush to start applying. So like the majority of these products were all in the new section over on their website. And I want to say I spent for everything I got maybe $110. And I don't think that 
I don't think anything was on sale. I don't know if I had a discount code or what. I know I did not type a discount. Actually, did I get maybe 20% off all this? I don't know. I have a feeling I didn't have a code. So you can see how affordable Catrice is. They used to be sold in Sephora, not Sephora, in Ulta, but they are no longer. But their sister brand, Essence, thankfully, is still sold online and in store at Ulta. Um, I think you can find Essence maybe at some drugstores as well, like maybe uh, CVS and stuff. Not entirely sure. But I know Catrice is mainly online on their site and on Amazon. They are from, this company is a European based company. Okay, so the bronzer is good. I'm gonna set this bronzer with the powder bronzer that we have. But I'm just bringing it down to my cheeks a little bit, not too much. I have a really nice powder bronzer from Catrice. I have it up here. I wasn't sure if they were still making it, but they are. The only thing they're not making is my favorite primer, which was the One Minute Face Perfector. That one was pretty awesome. But, well, so to me, this kind of looks a little cool toned. What do you guys think? I don't know that it's necessarily giving me bronzer vibes. I'm seeing a little more coolness. It looks nice. I'm going to do powder bronzer on the forehead. Um, 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 right here. So this is a little cream blush that we're going to be using today. I have no idea what I'm wearing to work today, but this one is shade 10. Rock, rock and peach or R and peach. Rock and peach gonna swipe it. Uh, let me just work with one side. I don't know how fast this dries down. I'm gonna use my BK 113. Just a little bit more. I just picked it up directly from the tube. Now that the cheeks are done, I'm loving how they look. We're gonna go in with this li liquid highlighter and this is the cheek lighter in the shade. What shade is it? <laughs> Why can't they just put the shade like bold and in front? It says it's vegan. That's not helping me. I'm sure it's either the only one or the lightest one that they have. It does have that puffer style applicator. You do need to turn it and then squeeze it out. That's pretty. So I'm going to use what came out on the back of my hand. I'm not going to waste that. Um, I think I'll use this little brush from the Nikki LaRose BK Beauty Collaboration, the N16. Ooh, ooh, okay. Like, like. I like that. That's pretty. So I notice that there are some items, in particular this this one and the powder. A bronzer highlighter duo and even the other primer that I didn't use are they look like they're dupes for higher end so obviously these two products would be like a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury which that's looking beautiful and the um, what was it the what did I just say <laughs> oh the primer this one looks like it can be dupe a dupe for one of the um, Smashbox primers. You know what? Before we, we set everything, because I need to do setting spray and stuff, uh, where did I put my, here it is, the blush. Let me get a little bit more. Just lightly go over it so it blends really well with the highlighter. So pretty. Love it. Okay, now that I'm done with all of my cream products, I'm going to go in with the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Setting Spray. And I've had this one in my stash. Oof, I've always repurchased it. And there was a point where I would get PR from Catrice. I haven't gotten anything from the, in them from a while. I do know I have a, an affiliate code with Essence. If you shop straight from the Essence website, it is Steph's Beauty Stash, and that gives you 10% off, but I don't have anything with Essence. 
I mean, with Catrice. I would love to because there's so many of their products that I do enjoy, especially their complexion products. All right, now these are the two, the bronzer, the highlighter. I'm gonna use the bronzer only on the forehead and I'll add a little bit of the powder highlighter above where I placed the um, liquid highlighter. I'm gonna use some of the powder on my nose as well. Oh, I forgot to put powder. We haven't done setting powder. I'm gonna have to redo the nose a little bit, like touch it up. The good thing is we're using a pressed powder, so there's gonna be more control with it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the highlighter. Oh, that's just as intense as the cream or the liquid. Okay, there we go. So far, I think we're looking great. Now we're gonna go in with this new one. This is the Soft Glam Filter Powder. Um, let's see. Creates a radiant finish and soft focus effect. Ooh, I don't know if this is gonna be that great for setting the under eye area. That's what it looks like. I don't notice any like particles, glitter particles or shimmer particles or anything like that. I'll give it a chance. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna take my little powder puff and just run all over. I'm gonna warm it up on the back of my hand. Make sure I don't have any creases. And start applying, but somehow I feel like this is gonna be more of a finishing powder than an actual setting powder. I mean, it's not looking terrible, but I don't know how well it's gonna control the oil. All right, guys, so the base makeup is done. I don't have any Catrice brow products, so I'm gonna take care of the brows off camera. And then when I come back, we're gonna start creating a look each with these two new palettes. Okay guys, so let's start with the eyeshadow palette. So these are nine pan palettes that you can see right here. You do get a little brush. The brush is for this shadow right here. This is one of those cake liners. So you need to add a little bit of water, a little bit of setting spray in order to activate it. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this baby pink called Bubble Gum and then work my way down into Heat Wave. And I'm taking Bubble Gum on a Singe Beauty E03. Now I'm going in with Heat Wave on a Singe E02. I wanna try using the cake liner. Since I do have that light blue pen style eyeliner that I wanna try for the next palette, Going back in with bubble gum. Now I'm gonna try to darken up the shade a little bit with brownie, same brush. All right, I think that's looking really good. Really easy to blend out. Uh, okay, so I think I'm gonna do this pink shade called Wildberry on the lid, and then the cake liner, I'm gonna try using it for the lower lash line. I'm using a damp Morphe M124. And that looks nice. It looks like it has a little bit of a shift to it. Not super intense. I feel like these two palettes are dupes for the Huda palettes that came out I think it was in 2022. She had an orange one and a purple one, and each of them had a cake liner in it. And to, if I'm recalling correctly, they weren't the greatest of palettes. Mediocre at best. And they were like $30 each. And this one right here from Catrice was probably only like 10 bucks. So... And so far, I think it's performing really well. That's really pretty. All right, so for the little water activated liner, I guess I can try using the little brush that came in here. Let me take it out so I can show it to you. That's what it looks like. So I am gonna spray some MAC Fix Plus directly into the pan. You don't wanna oversaturate, so kind of just let it absorb for a little bit, and then you dip your brush in there. And let me try just doing it on the back of my hand. Oh yeah, okay. So there's what it looks like. Well, maybe I can use this for the top lash line. You know what, let's see. 
Yeah, I can do that. If you have a bigger brush, use the bigger brush, like has a longer handle. But I wanted to use what came in the the palette just to try it. Feels like it's drying pretty quick too. All right, something different. But that was easy, even the little brush worked. Great, great. For the lower lash line, I think I'll do, I'm gonna go back to the orange one, which was Heat Wave. I'm just using a little BH Cosmetics pencil brush. For the inner corner, I'm gonna try a combination of both of these shades right here. I'm gonna go in with Galactic first and then Passionate. Where is Galactic? There it is. Mm, no, not my favorite there for the inner corner. Let me add passionate. That's much better. Okay, guys. So we do have a new mascara, which I'm going to try for you guys right now. But before I do that, let me add, let me get an orange. I have this one down here from um, NYX, La Casa de Papel Collection. It's in the shade Sophia. Now I'm going to give my eyelashes a curl with my Refer Eyelash Curler. And this is the mascara. This is the Pure False Lash Mascara um, Black Beyond Mascara. So I think there was like three different shades to choose from. It does have like a curled wand. And it's more of a brush tip than a plastic applicator. I have another Catrice mascara. I don't use it because it's old. I need to throw it away, but it was the like Glamon doll or something like that. It was in a blue tube and that was one of my favorites. All right, guys, so this is pretty much the finished look number one. This palette is called Color Blast and yeah, they're both Color Blast. This is, oh, the Tangerine Meets Lilac palette. And I like it. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on the second palette. This one right here. This one is called Blue Meets Lime and I love those shades together. All right, so love the green. We're definitely gonna start there. I'm gonna start with Lime and then I'm probably gonna work my way into Pacific Coast. I'm taking Lime on a Game Beauty E01. Oh, you know what? Pacific Coast is the cake liner. I don't really think we should use that as a shadow. Yeah, no, it's not going to work out as a shadow. So I guess what I'm going to do is have to go in with the shade Misty down here. I'm taking that on a What's Up Beauty R102. These shadows are all performing really well. Everything. They just glide on. They do the blending for you pretty much. I'm gonna add a little bit more of lime. Now in a BK210, I'm gonna go in with this shade over here called Corn Flower. I'm gonna use that for the lower lash line. And I'm going to intensify it with a cake liner that is in this palette. Now, this one looks like a very textured shade. That could be really pretty. I think what I'm going to do is a combination of these two shades on the lid. Or should I do the kiwi? Let's try the kiwi. You know, you know what? Let's do the kiwi and moonlit. We'll start with the less textured one first. I'm using a damp Morphe M709. Felt a little bit of fallout. Ooh, that's pretty. You're definitely going to want to spray the brush before you apply to the eye because that's going to help these traditional shimmers have, a, have more impact. We're going to make them pop that down a little bit like that's a really pretty inner corner highlight i'm gonna flip the brush around and go into moonlit feeling a little bit of fallout from this but it's more of like a little topper shade that you definitely want to use a glitter glue for 
Okay, so now we're gonna do the cake liner, which is that beautiful bright blue that is in the center of this palette. And I'm using the brush that came with it. And I'm gonna do that on the lower lash line. Now, I don't have a problem putting cake liners in my waterline. As a matter of fact, we'll try it right now. If it burns, I'll take it off, but I've rarely had that occurrence. I'm not suggesting you're, you do what I do right now with this, but if you're curious, try it. I'll let you know. You guys will see how it wears. Actually, I'm going to have to... Well, I'll see if I can get by with two different looks today at work. I'm sure they'll get a kick out of it. But um, I don't think, I just have some online meetings. And I don't know necessarily that I need to be on camera. So I think I can, I think I can get away with it. Because <laughs> I'm really curious about it. I'm really curious to see how it's going to wear. I'm going to go back in with cornflower just right below. Ooh, that is a pretty blue. I love a blue of that shade. Okay, okay, okay. Where is, had everything laid out nice and neat, and now everything just like becomes a mess. Okay, here it is, the eyeliner. So this one is the uh, Calligraph Artist Matte Liner. This one is in the shade 20 Ocean Flirt. And it looks like it's a felt tip applicator. That's what it looks like. Don't know how well this is going to show up. Mm, I don't know. I might just have to do black because, yeah, it's looking a little muddy. I mean, it's a beautiful shade, but no, I'm going to stop using it and just switch over to a black liner. Um, I'll take care of that off camera. And then I will come back and I'll show you guys the completed look. I'll be applying this lipstick right here. Look at how pretty the bullet is. Very nice. This shade is called um, Scandalous Matte 110. So I'll be right back to show you the completed look and I'll have my clothes on for the day. Okay guys, so here is the completed look with the lipstick, everything. Um, all I did was add some Rare Beauty liquid eyeliner to the top lash line and then everything else is the same. I so far love the way initially all of these products performed. I think they're really good for everything. Practically everything was $12 or less, or it could be $10 or less. Catrice Cosmetics is definitely a brand that I think is worth checking out. I am hoping that these are gonna wear well throughout the day. I do anticipate having to reapply powder and of course the lipstick but i feel like the complexion is just glowing really excited to do this mini wear test with the skin tint today i'll check in with you guys probably after my lunch break and then once i get home from work this is going to be a good 10 perhaps 11 hour uh, uh wear test so definitely stay tuned if you want to see how this makeup wears throughout my work day so here's a five hour check-in. The lippy has come off. I've already eaten my lunch, but the eye looks are definitely intact. I'm loving the cake liner, the blue one on the lower lash line. Uh, I could use a little bit of powder, but so far the complexion is glowy and I love it. Okay guys, so this is the 10 hour mark of this uh, get ready with me trying new Catrice Cosmetics makeup. Yes, I did go to work with the two eye looks and yeah, I got some, um, some random comments. Some people just didn't notice and then some people did and some people really like they thought it was cool. But yeah, no, I unfortunately I can't go to work like this every day. It just so happened that today was the day I knew I wasn't going to be out and about and I wasn't going to be, you know, in any pictures or anything. So it was it was cool. I was just mainly in the office all day. So um, let me give 
give you guys my thoughts. I enjoy the primer. I think this is a good dupe for the Smashbox Glow Primer. Uh, the lip oil was really nice, really hydrating. This could easily be a dupe for the House Labs lip oil. I thought that both of the little eye palettes, they were cute. They held up really well. I believe both of these are $10 or less. The mascara did not flake. Is it my favorite mascara of all time? Probably not, but for what I paid, you know, it's decent. It gets the job done. Um, the blue eyeliner, not with this particular look. I don't feel it really popped, but I like the way the cake liner that was in the palette worked out better. I forgot to take the bullet lipstick with me to touch up while I was at work, but I like it. It did last even through lunch, but I definitely needed, a reply, uh, needed to reapply. And since I forgot to take it with me, this is like a little mini Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that I had in my um, little makeup bag, but I like it. It's a comfortable formula. And what else? Oh, 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 the main thing, the tinted serum. You know, I think it's done a pretty decent job for no touch-ups throughout the day. I am shiny, but I'm not like, you know, maybe a little bit right here on my nose. It's starting to look makeup-y, a little cakey, but everywhere else, like it's pretty smooth. It's still on. I think it provided a decent amount of coverage. Shade two, neutral is my shade in this one. And I like it, hyaluronic and vitamin, hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. I think it's worth checking out. Um, I enjoyed the liquid highlighter, nice Charlotte Tilbury dupe, um, as well as the cream bronzer over here. The powder. I like the way it laid on top of the concealer under the eye area. And this is one of those, perhaps a Givenchy dupe, maybe. A lot of these products, you're going to find that they're dupes for more high end. I feel like the blush, it's still on, but I feel like it lost some of its pigment. So maybe skip out on the blush stick. But everything else, I'm looking around to see if I'm missing. Oh, this palette over here the um little contour bronzer highlighter palette i think this is cute this was only like five or six bucks and the good thing about this haul was that majority if not everything was ten dollars or less so let me know your thoughts now guys what did you think of this catrice cosmetics haul have you bought any new catrice cosmetics lately or maybe I inspired you to pick up some of the things that I tried in today's video. Leave it in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Y'all have a great day or night, wherever it is y'all are at. Stay hydrated, drink that water, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.